Good morning. Day 251. Cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and working pantry meals. Well, today it's going to be a lovely 87 degrees. It's getting up there on the warm side, but um, there's a chance of rain, which will be nice. We could use a little rain. If not, I'll have to just go water some more. So today, I think I'm going to see if I can gather up some more clothing for my donation people. They're coming tomorrow. So I have quite a bit for them. I had quite a bit for them the last time they were here. And like I said, my plan is to just have them come every two weeks and to just keep going through my things and getting rid of things I don't need. Now for me, if I hang on to things too long, I'll start taking them back out of the donation, which I don't want to do, because then I second guess myself. And honestly, anything that I've donated, I haven't missed. So, um, the process continues. I'm decluttering everything. My, my refrigerator, my freezer, my pantry, my clothes, my kitchenware. Now this is not my first rodeo. I declutter a lot. But I used to buy a lot. Way too much. So now I have to do this. So if you like to shop, like I used to like to, Think about what you're buying, and if you really, really want it, or if you really, really need it, or if it's just a bargain. I'm a bargain shopper, and I used to love to get good deals. I still do. I still like to get good deals. But I don't shop much anymore. In fact, hardly ever. Maybe a couple times a month I'll go into Mark's and pick up a couple things, or I'll go to Dollar Tree and pick up a couple things. But I never was a big shopper at places like, well, we had Macy's and, you know, the big department stores. I never shopped in those. I felt they were too expensive. So a lot of the things that I have are nice things, but, you know, bargain outlet shopping. That was more my my shtick. <laughs> so anyway, that's my plan for today. And then after the donation people come tomorrow, I think I'm going to take a vacation day. But you never know. I may change my mind because I feel like doing something. So all right, I will be back in a little while and we'll see what's for breakfast. Day 251. Time for some brunch. Let's see what's in the fridge. Probably not much different than yesterday. Alright, I know I want some bread. And this is what I have left from the freezer. Uh... I think I'll have some yogurt. I want to finish this up. I have another yogurt there, but this is too much for one serving. But since I'm not shopping anytime soon that I know of, uh, I thought I would just get enough for the next few days, weeks, whatever. All right, let's see. This is my grandson's. He's turkey and cheese. Um, still have those biscuits. I still have this little bit of cheese. I'm going to have that. I have some of this fake and bacon left. I have enough for one sandwich, but I'm not having that today. I'm going to have an egg. And I have one more egg that I think I might have with a salad later, but I don't know what I'll be in the mood for for dinner. 
Uh, I have some grapes here that I'll have with my yogurt because I like grapes and yogurt. I have a tofu there and I have more tofu back there. I want to make some of that 86 Eats turkey and roast beef. Um, not today though. I still have a lot of cheese in there. I have more cheese here. Uh, this is my chard and kale that I chopped up and I might have a salad with that later. I have a little cucumber. I chopped up some of my tomatoes that were getting pretty ripe. These are green beans from the garden. Still have a little tiny bit of coleslaw left. Uh, still have peppers, celery and carrots. That's why I'm thinking I need to make a salad. My grandson bought lettuce. So I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I ate some of that. And we still have the apples that he bought. I have some dried mushrooms in here. And back there I have some dried apples from last fall. So that's what's left in the fridge. And I want a little mayo on my sandwich. Uh, not much left in there. I think you can see what's left. Way down there. Okay, so that will be my breakfast, my brunch. It's actually past lunchtime. And I still have to eat this lentil soup and beans. I may add some of the beans to the lentils and have soup and salad for dinner. That sounds pretty good, but we'll see. All right, I will meet you at the stove. When I went to my mom's, I got some free food, and free is always good. She's always giving me food. So she gave me the, these potato gnocchis. I, I like these. So that'll be enough for two or three meals. And then she gave me a couple of really nice nectarines. Yummy. And uh, three plums. Those are yummy, too. So thanks, Mama. She still takes care of me, even at 93. Well, we're kind of getting to the point where we're taking care of each other because we're both a couple of little old ladies now. And I'm very privileged that I still have my mom. So I've got a couple more pieces of bread. Um, I don't know, maybe three more sandwiches and... Uh, that the bread will be gone. I have another loaf in the freezer, which is good. So it's one I bought on Markdown, and then I just froze it right away because I knew I had bread. I still have some rolls. Uh, those I can eat up to. So still plenty of food to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and make a sandwich and have some yogurt and uh, grapes, and I have enough grapes for a couple more things of yogurt or just to eat like that. And I probably will buy more grapes before the uh, um, end of the month or before next month. So we'll see. But now I have this fruit to eat too and this would be really good cut up in the yogurt too. I like some fresh fruit in my yogurt. So let me get this made and I'll be back. Okay, so here I have a very, very simple brunch. It's 1 o'clock. Just an egg and cheese sandwich with mayo and some yogurt with grapes. And I put sweetener and vanilla in here. And so that is going to be my early meal for the day. And then later I'll be back with... Uh, what I can find for dinner. I have several ideas. 
All right, I'll be back. This would look really pretty from the inside if my windows weren't so frosted up. The seal on them's broken, and this is why I need new windows. But, yeah, I have a window box right outside there. So, but right now, I can't afford to get new windows. I have a couple bills to pay off first, and then I'll see if we can get that done. I thought I'd have a little coffee break. Not that I've been working cr like crazy. I haven't. But, uh, I don't know, today is a sort of a rainy day, which is nice. Cheers. So, I'm just kind of hanging around here at my house. Uh, not doing anything in particular. I should be decluttering something, but I'm not in the mood right now. I thought maybe I'd gather up a few more things of clothing. I have one more cupboard that I want to look through in the kitchen, but I know there's not a whole lot in there that I want to get rid of because I've decluttered it like three or four times already. So, but the clothes, those, those definitely need to go. And then I'm thinking next week I really should get busy on my garage and do something with that. Um, still lots of decluttering to do, lots of organizing to do. I don't know how this all got so out of control. I used to have a handle on everything, but I think it's because I've let it go the last four years. No, longer than that, five years. And, um, you know, if you're a shopper, eventually it catches up to you. So, but I haven't really been much of a shopper for the last four or five years. But not that I never buy anything, because I do, you know. Uh, do I buy things that I really don't need? Sure I do, but not like I used to. So, I guess there comes a point of reckoning where you just have to look at what you've got going on and what you created, and uh, uncreated, I guess, for lack of a better term. So, there won't be any outdoor things today. <clears throat> I was going to cut down some more uh, spent vegetation in my front yard, but... Um, like I said, it's raining today, so I won't be doing that. But I think tomorrow, I think I'm, I think I am going to take a little bit of a staycation day here at my house. I have plenty of things that I can just pop in, in the microwave or the toaster oven, so I don't really have to cook. So that'll be nice, and then. I'll have another two weeks to gather more stuff for the declutter people. So that's working out really well for me. This is like the second now, second or third time that I've had them come to pick up stuff. And a lot of that had to do with um, reorganizing and redoing the kitchen and the living room. So the living room is done, thank goodness. So now all I have to do in the living room to keep it this way is to dust and vacuum. The kitchen, well, you know, I'm still decluttering that, and until they pick up the decluttered stuff, it's kind of sitting around. So once that's done and the, the last cupboard is looked at, then um, I'll be done with the kitchen too. And then I have to move on to my dining room. And once that's done, then the downstairs area will be good so that all I have to do is, is clean it, which is kind of the goal I'm headed towards. I want to make it easy. 
and as I'm cleaning, I'll figure out what things I might still want to get rid of as far as tchotchkes go. Um, I want to make it as simple as possible without looking stark. I, I, I don't want to go for that look. So, but I don't want every surface over cluttered either. You know, if I want to put a drinking glass down on a table, I want room for that. So, I think the garage will be next on my list. And then uh, this winter, I'll do the upstairs and the attic up there and the basement. And I know I'm not going to get that done um, quickly. It's going to take me a while. And actually with the attic, I'm going to need help. So, you know, if you have that same problem, see if you can enlist a friend or, or a relative or something. But in my attic, um, I have a ladder that goes up there. And I need somebody, maybe for an afternoon, just to stand at the bottom of the ladder and as I reach things down to them um, to take that because going up and down that ladder however many times it's going to take is ladders I don't do well with ladders because um, I get really really sore if I go up and down a ladder too often so maybe I'll enlist one of my grandkids um, like I said, it would only take an afternoon, um, and then I could get that all out of the house, too, because there's old stuff up there. Um, I started last year, before it got too hot, um, decluttering clothes up there, because I used to put my winter clothes up there. Not all of them. Most of the stuff that I have is all in closets. Um, but heavy sweaters that I couldn't wear for a while because I was going through um, uh, menopause and perimenopause, and I just couldn't wear that really hot stuff anymore, that really warm stuff. So, but now I can. You know, my it seems like my body has more regulated itself um, since that's all in the rearview mirror. And I, I had some pretty sweaters, so, you know, those I'll keep, um, at least for now, down the road, they might go too. But I have an idea in my head about how I want things to look. So if, if you are decluttering, um, you might want to think about doing that, getting an idea in your head, rather than just willy-nilly going around the room, get an idea in your head about how you want the room to look and how you want the room to feel and work towards that and maybe even write down the steps you need to take to get to that point. Uh, break it down into little tasks. So that's what I do and that seems to work pretty well. So other than that, um, yeah, I'm being really lazy today. I'm doing some of my daughter's laundry because, like I said before, they're renovating this house and she doesn't have a washer and a dryer. And with four kids, you've got to keep that laundry done because they can generate a lot of dirty laundry, that's for sure. So I help her out and, you know, it's not that big a deal. So, I mean, my clothes, I wash a load every two weeks, maybe, because I rewear my clothes. I mean, unless I'm outside and really getting sweaty and hot. But if I'm in the house and I'm comfortable here, I, I wear my clothes more than one time. I reuse my towels. Um, you know, I mean, my body's clean after I take a shower. So I just dry off and hang it up and let it dry. And, uh, you know, I don't want to put it in a pile so it gets moldy, mildewy, and smelly. But if you hang it up to dry, it works out just fine. 
So anyway, that's uh, what I'm up to. What are you guys up to? Leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys are up to. Are you cooking? Are you cleaning? Are you decluttering? Are you vacationing and doing nothing? That's always an awesome thing. Uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, well, I will be back in a little while. And we'll see what's for dinner on this day. And uh, hopefully I'll get a couple more things out of the refrigerator. All right. I'll be back. Okay, well, I'm upstairs here in my plant room. But I also have my summer clothes in this closet. So... Here are all my blouses, my summer blouses, and there's a lot of them I don't like anymore that I want to get rid of. So I'm only going to do a 15 minute declutter. So let's see. Sorry about the backlight here. I'm going to see if I can fix that. That's better. Okay. So this is a very high closet rod. It's a double rod thing. So I actually need a stool to get some of this, um, some of these clothes down. So, okay, let's see what I'm getting rid of. Um, there won't be a ton of them, but, okay. These three can go. All right, let's see if I can grab a couple more. my Hawaiian shirts that are going to go. I don't need this many. And I haven't really worn them all year. I have other shirts that are nicer. Want to try this one on? I am. I may keep this one. Okay. All right. Let me take these off the hangers, and then I'll be back. Okay. Let's get some more. Well, let's see. I'm not getting rid of every single one of these shirts in here. I'm just getting rid of some of them. A couple of them I want to try on because I do still like them, but if they're not comfortable, then I'll get rid of those too. So here we have another batch that I want to look through and get rid of. And I'll be back. Okay, I have some more shirts here that I want to get rid of. So, so far I've got a little pile going here, and I'll show you all the shirts after I get rid of them. So this will be my 15-minute declutter for the day. I'm only going to declutter the shirts up here on top. There's shorts down here and other tops. But I'm not doing those today. I'll do those on a different day. 
So I'll be back after I get this finished and then we'll see how much I got out. Okay, so these are all the shirts I pulled out of there and it's a nice, nice size stack. Um, I'm getting rid of all these hangers. Um, I'm switching from these hangers and I got these at Target and they kind of hang off each other but they slip. I mean I have a, a ton of these. So what I'm switching to are these. They're thinner and the clothes don't slip off of them. So and this shirt is going. It's a little, little tight across the chest. So that needs to go. So I've got three kitchen garbage bags full of clothes that I'm donating. And here you can see <laughs> how many pieces of clothing I got rid of. It's a lot. Plus this is not the only box of hangers that I have. So this will be going to donation, another 15 minute declutter. Yay! I have to be in the mood to do this because if I'm not, I don't get rid of enough stuff. But these things I don't wear. Um, I have things that sometimes, like I said, I wear the ugly things and the nice things sit there. So this sort of forces me to wear some of my nicer clothes instead of just the old clothes that, you know, I'm used to wearing. So anyway, there's my 15-minute declutter, and it's time for dinner, so I'll meet you in the kitchen. At the stove. Seems like we're always meeting here at the stove. So I don't know if you guys remember these as seen on TV things. You know, it's got the cutting board in there and all these little slots and you do this. And Anyway, I like this thing. I've had it for a very long time and it really does help you chop up your salad. So in here I have um, half of a little cucumber from my garden, some celery that needs to be eaten or frozen soon. And then I have kale and chard in here. Since I don't have any romaine, that's going to be my salad. So, uh, anyway, you put your knife in here. I don't even know if they still sell these things. But I like it. And I do use it when I have things like chard and salad I want to cut up. So you just kind of chop things through the slots. And I already cut up a little bit of the, um, the chard and the tail. Oh, that doesn't make a nice noise though, does it? Sorry. But, um... I want to make it finer, tap it up a little finer. Okay, and then what you do is you turn this again, so like a quarter turn, and you chop it some more. And I guess you can do that as many times as you want until you get the uh, consistency of the salad that you want. So, <laughs> Ellen and her gadgets, right? Alright, let me take a look at this and see if I need to chop it some more. Oh uh, yeah, I think I can chop this some more. Definitely can chop it again. Alright, I will be back when I'm done chopping. And I'll show you my salad. And then I'm going to have soup and salad today. So I'll be back in a minute. 
All right, so there's my chopped up salad with the chopped up cucumber and um, celery. I think that does a good job. So apparently you can eat it out of this plate too, but I have this bowl, so I'm going to eat it out of that. And the reason I wanted to chop this was because I didn't want any big old chunks of kale because kale is better after it sits for a little bit. And I know some people even massage the kale to soften it up. So I'm going to have this um, Italian three cheese tonight. Oh, and I wanted to add some of my chopped up tomato. There's a little tiny onion from the garden in there too. And I have a little critter out there I don't know if it's a squirrel or a chipmunk, but the little bugger digs up my little onions and leaves, leaves them laying there. So I'm going to add a little bit of tomato. And these are just tomatoes that I felt were starting to get too ripe and some cherry tomatoes. So I just chopped them up and put them in this jar. And uh, I have a couple pieces of just buttered toast here. And to my salad, put this up here. I'm also going to add some of this cheese. I'd like to use this up because I, I have a lot more cheese that I need to use up. Sometimes I overshop, even though I don't spend that much on groceries anymore. Sometimes I still overshop. I, I, I don't estimate how much, how much I actually eat. So that looks pretty darn good, I think. And now I'm going to work on my soup. Oh, I do need some dressing. Okay, salad is done. Cheese is gone. Another thing gone out of my refrigerator. It actually makes me happy when I use up food because then I don't feel like I wasted my money. Do you guys feel that way too? Alright, so here I have some of my lentil soup that needs to be eaten. I think I need to eat this within the next day or two. So, I don't want to get too much because then I'll be too full and I won't be able to finish it. I have a little tiny bit left. And if you want to see how I made the lentil soup, I made that, oh, about three days ago. All right, and then I also made these Mayakoba beans, but I need a spoon. All right, so I'm going to add some beans to the lentils. It's okay if I get a little bit of bean juice in with that. Not a problem. So I have a little bit of beans left in here yet. So there we go, bean and lentil soup. And then I'm going to heat that up. And that will be my dinner for tonight. And we had some rain today, and boy, did the humidity shoot up. It was like, oh, really up there. So it was actually pleasant all day until that happened. All right, I'm going to heat this up. Okay, so dinner is ready. I'm going to add some of this Parmesan Romano cheese to my soup.
Now you could put uh, pasta in this soup too and make it kind of a pasta e fagioli. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that or fagioli. However you pronounce that, you know, pasta and beans. So, but this is just an impromptu lentil soup that I added beans to. All right, so let me give this a taste and see how it turned out. Now there's cabbage and carrots and potatoes in the soup. Let me bring you a little closer. All right, let's give this a taste. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. It's even better with the beans. All right, let me try the salad. I know it's weird. I'm eating it with a spoon, but I don't have a fork right now. Looks refreshing. Mm. Salad from my garden. Soup. Homemade. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to wrap this up for this evening. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. I hope you enjoyed visiting with me. I enjoyed visiting with you very much. So that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching!